15 years are um, very uh, interesting years in one's life. It's a season of confusion and teenagers need um, a voice and uh, to direct them and to lead them to, to the right path uh, to help them also find their identity. So the ROPS program gets to address uh, those, that very particular need uh, in the life of teenagers. God's will for us, you know, it covers even them who are at 13, 14 years old. And there's no better place to start talking about God's word and God's will for them, you know, than at that point when they're still young. Um, it's easy for them to understand. It helps them to understand their faith, understand what's happening to them, but also empower them to create healthy relationships with their parents, with their peers, but also with, uh, with the world. Through all the games, all the talks that you've been engaging in class, uh, I've learned more about myself, that I, some things that I didn't know about myself, but I've learned more about the church, about my neighbors, everyone who's around me. I've learned a little bit more. It's been nine years and the impact has been phenomenal. Even now, as I think back, um, I've finished my high school um, season. I, I just graduated from my university season. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into the working space. And now, as I look back, I can definitely say so much of what I learned during ROPES stuck with me. And the relationships I built at that time with my parents really added up to beneficial seasons up to now. We appreciate that we only spend uh, maybe two hours every week with this child. But the question we get to ask ourselves at ROPES is, how is that two hours influencing them to see God as being important even beyond the two hours? So that for them, God is not just this, you know, this person they get to meet every Sunday for two hours, but it is someone who makes an impact even in their lives beyond. It influenced me to be planted and be invested in church, yes. Not specifically in that ministry I'm in, but generally just to have a love for being around the youth and being around the next generation and wanting to be in their lives and work with them. So yeah, because it benefited me when I was in that space. In the program, we have a section for the parents where we teach them on the four C's. And this is aspects that help build the teenager to be able to respond in this turbulent what seems to be a turbulent season, but it's really because it's a transition season. So the program helps the parent build the confidence of the child, build their competencies, build their character, build their compassion and care for others, and also build their connections. Parenting is a God-given duty. We have been bequeathed these children to bring them up for God. These children are here to continue God's work, and we have just been like loaned by God to, to bring them up. So parent, uh, uh, the ropes has taught me how to, to train him, how to teach him, how to even rebuke in a godly way, not, uh, not bring him down, not criticize, but uh, bring him up in a, in a godly way and uh, also teach him about now and even his future. There is no uh, ropes, uh, ropes program without the camp. The lessons they've learned in the course of the year are reaffirmed, but it's really experiential where they get to, to do lots of activity, uh, just affirming uh, the many lessons that they will have learned uh, through the ropes year. We definitely had a lot of opportunities to do um, the practical aspect. So I got a chance to be with other people and now begin to work out some of the things we had been learning, you know, and listening to the facilitators take us through not only the content, but now in a, in a, in a space where we could leave it out. By the time you're done with the camp, you're so surprised at what you could achieve when you set your mind to it. Before this ropes class, like when something bad happened to me, I saw like God was in there for me. Like I, will, I, I reached a point where like I was, I'm not going through this thing again. So I'm, I'm converting to, this, to those other religions. And then when I started this ropes class, I learned that sometimes God does, does listen, but he says, wait, he like, He'll grant what you're asking for at another time, but not that time you're asking for it. So it taught me how to be patient and it deepened my faith more in God. ROPS has made me 
change in the way I used to deal with issues. I just used to argue with people about the issues or I just start making noise about the issue but now I have known that you first of all have to ask God what to do first then he will make a way and he will tell you where what to do at what particular time. Uh, Robs is teaching us to guard our children to be more proactive with them Robs is telling us that uh, it's a different ball game. It's not as easy. It's not a walk in the park the way it used to be. Uh, Robs is reminding us that uh, we must purpose to work with this child because uh, there's too much pressure uh, in the society. And uh, working with this child, letting the child know that uh, this is what is expected of them under all this pressure of, of the world uh, is... Uh, it's is really a fundamental issue in terms of uh, the child uh, moving from being a child into a, a young adult. We don't know everything, so it is very difficult for me to come out of the blue and just teach him these things. It's good to go to the classes where you get even a wider, a wider lesson. And uh, this will, and since you're learning yourself and the child, you're able to uh, to, to connect because there is a big disconnect nowadays with the, with the children of this generation and ours. We were brought up so differently. Uh, as he says, I was brought up to listen and not argue and not even question, but there's because of the exposure uh, uh, in school and even in the media. They, they ask questions which for us we didn't know. We, we, we were not brought up that way. So it is good for, uh, for parents to attend these lessons and also to take their children so that they can learn the different uh, methods now of parenting. I believe that teens should join the ROOPS program because it really teaches us a lot. We learn a lot that we can use in our later lives um, because the things that happen in this world, because you see, um, our parents put us in an egg to keep us safe from all of those bad things until we are ready for them. So you can come out of that egg not being ready. So I'm just think, I, I, I just think that teens should join so they can learn about, uh, about the world out there, all the bad things, and learn how to avoid them. Learn how to avoid sinning or being swayed by other people, those people who come and try to move you. So yeah, I think it's very important because um, later on, you, you will never regret it, just like she said. You won't regret it. It's going to be nice, but it's, it's fun and it's really helpful. Those are two pros.